Hi, I'm Daniel Recknitzer and welcome to the Intuition Wisdom Channel. You know, every day we're helping liberate people from the rat race, helping them to become self-mastered and to live their life purpose, you know, to really make a difference to themselves and the planet. Now, if you're ready to change your life and step into your power and access that limitless intuition, then you've come to the right place. So today I wanna to share with you some golden highlights from my feature videos. And once you've checked this one out, remember to look at the description for more videos just like this one. All right, let's dive in. Yeah, just, uh, are, are there any um, blockages on the financial side of things? Um, I, I feel like I'm bringing stuff through from childhood that's, that's um, causing that, you know? Okay. All right, I was sure you were going to ask me about what kind of business this is going to be, but we will have to get to that one next. No, I, I'm getting, I'm getting there. <laughs> All right, well, let's just clean up. Let's just clean up any doubts and things that might be in the way. Um, okay, this is an interesting one that's showing up is you believe you are crap at spending money. Yes, in a, in a way, I'm not. I'm not a big spender. Well, you you just believe that you just don't know. Like I don't know how to do this. I don't know what I should <laughs> spend on versus what I shouldn't spend on. I've got no perspective on the matter. Yes, that's very true. Yeah. So guess what that does? Any idea? It's the flow. Correct. <laughs> It says, I don't want to be put in the predicament of going, uh-oh, I'm going to get this wrong. So if I don't yeah. allow any money in in the first place, I'll never be in this predicament. Yeah. So let's look at, um, let's look at some truth. <laughs> let's look at some truth around this. Okay. If you're in a space of self-love, you can't get spending wrong. Yeah. It's only when you are trying to compensate for mm. something, i.e. I'm not enough. This person is mm. more than me. I'm not going to be happy until I have this. Life isn't yeah. good enough without this. That's when spending starts becoming wasteful. Yeah. But if you are in this space of, I love and appreciate myself. I already have all that I need to be happy. Yes. Then you will make ex excellent decisions. Okay. So don't let your spending come from needs is the bottom line. Okay. All right. I need this to be happy. I need this to be fulfilled. I need this to look, this look good or this, I need this to be respected or admired. Any of that stuff, you're going to be very unhappy with yourself. Okay. okay. Does well, that... that makes sense. Okay. So where would you like to go from here? Well, I'd like to know what, um, what this new business is. I, I have had a, a bit of a, um, a calling to, that I've got a message to say, um, you know, and so public speaking, has been something that's come up, but yeah, I'm open to anything. Yeah, I was going to say, the minute you asked what is this new thing, I was going to say, actually, it feels to me like you already know. feels to me <laughs> like you've, you've kind of touched on a few things that are really, that you're passionate about and yeah. you kind of, you've avoided looking at them in terms of a business for A, the reasons we've already covered earlier, but also B, oh, maybe it's inappropriate to make money working on a cause. Yeah. Can you see that? There's That's, a belief in there? Yes. 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 That's a big blockage. Yeah, like, you know, to make money of people that are wanting to get better kind of thing, you know, yeah. you know and stuff. Well, doctors have no problem with it. Yes. <laughs> Pharmaceutical <laughs> companies have no problem with it. Yes, no, definitely. And, and why is it the ones who can really make the biggest difference have a problem with it? Yeah. Why, 
why? <laughs> Who knows? Right. So if, if you were ever to make money off something, should it not be from a worthwhile cause? Yes, definitely. I mean, you've got baseball players, sports people making a hundred million dollars a year from getting up and hitting a ball across a field. Yeah. They got no problem with that. Yeah. So the universe has no problem with, and quite the opposite, with those who are contributing to this world, helping those in need and helping them in right. the most evolved possible ways. Right. Who better to be the millionaires? Who better to be the billionaires on this planet? than those actually making a significant contribution through enlightenment. Yeah, that's very really true. Those who, are, those who are being that and doing that are the ones who are mm. going to be most supported. Yes. So let go, <laughs> let go of this nonsense of, oh, I shouldn't be taking from those that I'm helping. You're not. <laughs> You're giving to yeah. them and they're thanking you for it. Yes. To, to be paid for your service is not to be explo it's not exploiting anyone. To not be paid for your service is you being exploited. Yes. You following? No, that, yeah, no, definitely. You got you hitting it on the head. <laughs> right. And that's why I get paid for my service. <laughs> <laughs> all right good good so let's just see if there's any other other little blockages there okay so there's another one showing up is okay so i might be okay to receive money but then there are all these other people that are going to have an issue with me receiving money for this or that <laughs> you, you know what my, one of my in my business I hate to be I hate to be seen as the boss that pitches up to fetch the money and leave again. I mean, so I'm I'm working pretty hard still within my business, and I've I've been doing it for 20 years, and I'm pretty much over it. So um, I'm you know I'm forever saying that I hate being seen as someone to you know the type of boss that just pitches up, fetches the money you know and leaves. So the exploitation thing is definitely, uh, you know, in there. Mm. I'll take it a little bit deeper for you. You, you hate being seen as doing the wrong thing. Yes. I don't want to be seen to be someone who does the wrong thing around here because I'm a good person. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Aren't you? Yeah, I am a good person. Yeah. Yeah. You, you you just hate the thought of people misrepresenting you. Yes, definitely. Mm. All right, so let's let's bring some truth into this. You living your purpose and you going out there, let's call it on your soapbox and you saying what you need to say, is going to yes. ruffle feathers. Yes. Is going to have people criticize you. It's going to have people say, oh, she shouldn't be taking money for that. Mm. But what are they really talking about? Is it the fact that you're getting paid for making a difference to the world? Or are they really complaining that A, they're not making a difference to the world and B, they're not getting paid for making a difference to the world? No. Is it you or them? That they're complaining about it's them it's always a projection people project stuff onto you thank you for watching and make sure you give us the thumbs up if you loved it now also remember to subscribe so we feel supported and we feel encouraged to keep making more videos like this now my best recommendation is for you to check out the links below to find the perfect video for you choose whatever resonates i'm sure you'll love it now if you're ready to start boosting your intuition and tapping into that infinite intelligence of the universe, I suggest that you go to our free Boost Your Intuition workshop. It's the first step to creating the life of your dreams. The link is in the description below. We'll see you there.